Dear friends, there is something so beautiful and in fact so spiritually significant about giving and receiving gifts during this season of Christmas. Considered in the correct light, gifts remind us that most of what is true and good in our lives, creation, grace, life itself, is totally gratuitous. We did nothing to deserve any of this. So I want to take this opportunity, therefore, as we celebrate the solemnity of the Nativity of our Lord, to reflect just a little bit on the undeserved gifts, the unyielding grace that God has shown us these past months, this past year. I think of our community still growing, still growing younger. I am so grateful for the courage of our newly ordained as they begin in earnest the challenging, the life-saving work of the sacred priesthood. And I'm so edified by the tireless work of the established priests in our community, the old timers, as Abbot Porkwood said, who by their deep courage and charitable examples have helped prepare the way for this future of the church. I think about the miracle, a spiritual refuge that the Abbey provides, not only to those who call it home, but to all the faithful who encounter the love of Christ on the Abbey grounds. It is truly beautiful to see crowds of people flocking to the Abbey from dawn to dusk, receiving graces from God, the hands of his priests. This is the true, the quiet, the prayerful work of priests. Whether it's the time spent in the confessional or in spiritual direction, in marriage preparation, in classrooms, near deathbeds, bearing witness always to Christ's love. I reflect fondly on the celebrations of the past year, our triumphant Michaelmas celebration, the delightful music on the Feast of St. Norbert, the stirring organ and choir recitals, and the great feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Truly, these celebrations are nothing short of a foretaste of heaven in all areas of our Abbey life, in the stillness of the cloister, in the silence of our library, in the bustle of our art studio, and in the majesty of our beautiful Abbey Church. We are privileged to serve as a center of Catholic culture thought, prayer, and this includes especially our digital ministry. And all the insightful Norberton content on social media platforms and on the Abbott Circle site, of which so many of you are members, and we thank you for that. This work reaches hundreds of thousands of people and helps the Abbey and indeed the church to stand as a confident sign of faith of hope, of love in the digital space. And finally, I think of all of you who by your prayers, by your generosity, help us. Here I want especially to thank the members of the Abbott Circle. Believe me when I tell you that by your cooperation in God's grace, you have helped to transform lives. You have helped to extend beauty, truth, the good news of Jesus Christ to a world that needs it oh so, so badly. My brothers and sisters, let us reflect on all that we have been given as we celebrate the ultimate gift, who is Christ the Lord. And let us hold each other always in prayer to all of you a peaceful and a Merry Christmas. God bless you.